Hello students and welcome to this lesson on special right triangles. Today we're going to learn about the 45-45-90 triangle and the 30-60-90 triangle. Now you already got a little bit of an introduction to these yesterday in our video, so we're not going to go over too much on their construction. Just remember, a 45-45-90 triangle has two legs, which are congruent, and it has a hypotenuse. So our legs, because they're congruent, we're going to say that they share the same numerical value as well, right? And we're going to call that value A. So each leg has a value of A. And then, using the Pythagorean theorem, we can see that the hypotenuse will end up being A square root 2. All right, and then up here we see that this is a 45-degree triangle, and this is a 45-degree angle. All right, so what if I want to solve for a particular leg or hypotenuse? Well, there's a couple of different things that we can do here. All right, so if I'm trying to find a missing component, I know that the legs are always equal. So if I give you a leg, you can all already find the other legs. So legs are equal. Then we know that the hypotenuse is equal to a leg times the square root 2. And then, given a hypotenuse, a leg is equal to the hypotenuse divided by the square root 2. And this is where we get into our radicals from last week. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and do a couple of examples. All right, so for my first example, I'm going to have this triangle. It's got a 45 degree angle here. And I'm going to say that the leg here is 6. And then I'm looking for this other leg and the hypotenuse. All right, so I know that leg is equal to leg. So x is equal to 6. And then y will be 6 times the square root of 2, because it's the hypotenuse. So y is equal to 6 square root 2. All right, so for example 2, we've got a 45 degree angle here. And I have x and y are missing. And then I'm given 3 square roots of 2. And 3 square roots of 2 is my hypotenuse because it's directly across from the right angle, and it's the longest leg of the triangle. So therefore, if I'm looking for x and y, those are going to be the legs. But I know that a leg is equal to hypotenuse divided by the square root of 2. So x is equal to 3 square roots of 2 divided by the square root of 2 or x is equal to 3. So x equals 3. And y will be the same thing. So then y is equal to 3 as well. All right, so for examples 3 and 4, you're looking for x and y, and you're given the square root of 5 here. So this one is going to be a little bit different. You're going to have to make sure that you're using your uh, radical multiplication rules. Uh, effectively here. So you're looking for x and y. And then for 4, you're going to be looking for x and y as well. So x and y. And you're given that the hypotenuse is going to be 9. Alright, and again, we're going to have to use our radical rules here. So take a moment and see if you can solve these on your own. All right, so example three is pretty straightforward. You have x is equal to, and then we've got square root of five because our legs are equal. And then y is going to be, we know that y is equal to a times the square root of two. And a in this case is going to be the square root of five. So this becomes the square root of five times the square root of two. And so y will be the square root of 10. 
All right, and then for example four. So we know that x will be equal to a, and I know that nine is equal to a square roots of two. So I divide both sides here by the square root of two. And I get that a is equal to nine divided by the square root of two. However, we don't really like that form, so let's change it. So we need to multiply top and bottom by the square root of two. just to uh, rationalize this. So this becomes a is equal to nine square roots of two over two, and there's no way to really simplify that. So we get that x is equal to nine square root two over two, and because x and y are the same thing, y will equal nine square root two over two. All right, so that's our 45-45-90 uh, triangle. So let's move on and look at the 30-60-90. It's a little bit more interesting. All right, so our 30-60-90 triangle, uh, again, we have a right triangle uh, that's implied here because it's a special right triangle, and it's also got that 90-degree angle up here, right? We had our 45-45-90 and our, uh, our 30-60-90, so they're both right triangles. And so my 30 degree angle is going to be down here and my 60 degree angle is going to be up here and what you see is that the size of the angle corresponds to its opposite side so the, if you've got your um, longest and then your middle and then your short, or I could rewrite this as the hypotenuse long and short sides of the triangle. then the angles correspond to the sides. So the hypotenuse will be 90 degree angle directly across from it, like you have here. Uh, your long side will have the 60 degree angle across from it. And then your short leg will have the 30 degree angle across from it. Okay, so what are the values of each of the legs? Well, we're gonna call the short leg A. Again, so a is the value of the length of the short leg. Then my long leg will be a times the square root of three, and then my hypotenuse will be two times a. All right, so let's see how I would find each of these missing pieces. So my hypotenuse, given a, is equal to two times a, or two times my short leg my long leg is equal to my short leg or my long leg divided by the square root of 3 is equal to my short leg. And then we can also say that my short leg is just the hypotenuse divided by 2. But you go from 2a to a by dividing by 2. All right, so let's look again at some examples uh, regarding this 30, 60, 90 triangle. All right, so in example one, we're given a short leg of five, and we're trying to find our long leg and our hypotenuse. Okay, so to find our hypotenuse, uh, we say that y is equal to 2a, and then a is equal to 5, so y is equal to 10. And then x is going to be equal to 5 square roots of 3. 
because x is equal to a square roots 3. All right, so let's look at some other examples. All right, so in example 2, we're going to try and find x and y, where x is the hypotenuse, y is the short leg, and I'm given that the long leg is, a, is 2 square roots of 3. So we know that um, a is equal to 2, because I knew that 2 square roots of 3 is equal to a square roots of 3, so therefore I can just say that a is going to be 2. All right, and now if I know that a is 2, y is just equal to a. So y is equal to 2, and then x is equal to 2a, right? So x equals 2a, and so then x will equal 4. So we see sometimes these can be simple, sometimes these will be a lot harder. Let's look at some examples where it's more difficult. All right, so in example three, we're given that the hypotenuse is equal to eight. So know that eight is equal to two a. A will be four. So if I'm looking for x and y here, then x is equal to four, and y is equal to four square root three. So in example four, now this is where it starts to get a little bit trickier. So we're given that a is equal to square root of seven. So two a, right? So that's gonna be for y. y is equal to two a. So y is equal to two square roots seven. And then x is equal to a times the square root of three. So that's square root of 3 times square root of 7, so x is equal to the square root of 21. And then finally, for example 5, we're given that our long length is going to be 18 here. So I know that 18 is equal to a square root 3, so therefore a is equal to 18 divided by the square root of 3, but again, we don't like that, so let's go ahead and convert it or rationalize it. So we know that a is equal to 18 square root 3 over 3, but then that means that a is equal to 6 square roots of 3. So I know that a is equal to 6 square roots of 3. Well, that goes ahead and gives me x, so x is equal to 6 square root 3, and then I know that y is equal to 2a, so y is equal to 2 times 6 is 12, so 12 square roots of 3. All right, so that's it for our examples. Uh, let's go ahead and start on our homework today. So your assignment today is going to be to finish that first set of homework that you were given. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask me. And additionally, before we get started on our homework, let's go ahead and write a reflection. So um, write your reflection on the warm-up and reflection sheet that you were given, and uh, make sure that I'm able to see it before you leave today, and I want to be able to stamp it. So make sure that me, Mr. Fox, gets to see your reflection on your warm-up sheet, and also complete the Tuesday homework. All right, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.